Blessings, 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 beloved. I am Mama Pam, a.k.a. Pamela Dobson, and I do read, beloved, seven minutes every day, so you do not have to read. Today's read is for uh, Monday, September the 5th, 2022, Leviticus, the 16th chapter, verses 24 through 34, and 17, and chapter over into chapter 18. Leviticus 17 and Leviticus 18 talks about blood, uh, blood eating is forbidden, blood eating is forbidden, and sex with family members is forbidden. Um, I don't know how to put this thing on hold. Uh oh, so I can't put it on hold. Use I'm able to put it on hold. Not today. All right, so I'm going to set my timer over here, and this reading is going to be timed seven minutes. Got my handy dandy timer. Praise God. Seven minute read. Timer went down. Reading from uh, Leviticus, the 16th chapter, the 24th verses. Reading from the King James Version of the Word of God, and it reads, And he shall wash his flesh with water in the holy place, and put on his garments, and come forth and offer his burnt offering, and the burnt offering of the people, and make atonement for himself and for the people. And the fat of the sin offering shall he burn upon the altar. And he that let go the goat for the scapegoat, shall wash his clothes and bathe his flesh in water, and afterward come into the camp. And the bullock for the sin offering, and the goat for the sin offering, whose blood was brought in to make atonement in the holy place, shall one carry forth without the camp, and they shall burn in the fire their skins and their flesh and their dung. And he that burneth them shall wash his clothes and bathe his flesh in water, and afterward he shall come into the camp. And this shall be a statute forever unto you, that in the seventh month, on the tenth day of the month, ye shall afflict your souls and do no work at all, whether it be one of your own country or stranger that sojourned among you. For on that day shall the priest make an atonement for you, to cleanse you, that ye may be clean from all your sins before the Lord. It shall be a Sabbath of rest unto you, and ye shall afflict your souls by statute forever." And the priest whom he shall anoint and whom he shall consecrate to minister in the priest's office in his father's stead shall make the atonement and shall put on the linen clothes, even the holy garments. And he shall make an atonement for the holy sanctuary and he shall make an atonement for the tabernacle of the congregation and for the altar. And he shall make an atonement for the priest and for all the people of the congregation. And this shall be an everlasting statute unto you to make an atonement for the children of Israel for all their sins once a year. And he did as the Lord commanded Moses. Chapter 17. And the Lord spake unto Moses, and the Lord spoke unto Moses, saying, Speak unto Aaron and his sons, and to all the children of Israel, and say unto them, This is the thing which the Lord hath commanded, saying, What man soever there be of the house of Israel, that killeth an ox or a lamb or goat in the camp, or killeth it out of the camp, and bringeth it not unto the door of the tabernacle of the congregation, to offer an offering unto the Lord before the tabernacle of the Lord, blood shall be imputed upon that man. He hath shed blood, and that man shall be cut off from among his people, to the end that the children of Israel may bring their sacrifices, which they offer in the open field, even that they may bring them unto the Lord, unto the door of the tabernacle of the congregation, unto the priests, and offer them for peace offering unto the Lord. And the priest shall sprinkle the blood upon the altar of the Lord at the tabernacle. And the priest shall sprinkle the blood upon the altar of the Lord at the door of the tabernacle of the congregation, and burn the fat for a sweet savor unto the Lord. The Lord loves barbecue, especially that fat barbecue that's around that, around that meat, around that steak, around them ribs. Lord loves that. That's what he liked, that sweet smelling savor. He said, not me. And they shall no more 
they shall no more offer their sacrifices unto devils after whom they have gone a whoring. This shall be a statute forever unto them throughout their generations. And thou shalt say unto them, Whatsoever man there be in the house of Israel, or of the strangers which sojourn among you, that offereth a burnt offering or a sacrifice, and bringeth it not unto the door of the tabernacle of the congregation, to offer it unto the Lord, even that man shall be cut off from among his people. And whatsoever man there be of the house of Israel, or of the strangers that sojourn among you, that eateth any manner of blood, that eateth any manner of blood, that eateth any manner of blood, I will even set my face against that soul that eateth blood, and will cut him off from among his people. For the life of the flesh is in the blood, and I have given it to you upon the altar to make an atonement for your souls. For it is the blood that maketh an atonement for the soul. Therefore, I said unto the children of Israel, No soul of you shall eat blood, neither shall any stranger that sojourn among you eat blood. And whatsoever man there be of the children of Israel, or the strangers that sojourn among you, which hunteth and catcheth any beast or fowl that may be eaten, he shall even pour out the blood thereof, and cover it with dust. For it is the life of all flesh. The blood of it is for the life thereof. Therefore I said unto the children of Israel, Ye shall eat the blood of no manner of flesh. For the life of all flesh is the blood thereof. Whosoever eateth it shall be cut off. And every soul that eateth that which dieth of itself, or that which was torn with the beast, whether it be one of your own country or a stranger, he shall both wash his clothes and bathe himself in water and be unclean until the evening. Then shall he be clean. But if he wash them not, nor bathe his flesh, then he shall bear his iniquity, can be forgiven of the sin. Chapter 18. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, I am the Lord your God. After the doings of the land of Egypt, wherein ye dwelt, shall ye not do. And after the doings of the land of, land, land of Canaan, whither I bring you, shall ye not do. Neither shall ye walk in their ordinances. For ye shall do my judgments and keep mine ordinances to walk therein, for I am the Lord your God. Ye shall therefore keep my statutes and my judgments, which if a man do, he shall live in them, for I am the Lord. Praise God. That is a good place to end right there before we go into the other. And the time was just about up anyway. Praise God. All right. I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you to those of you who are members and supporters of the Smurf Family International Ministry. Smurf stands for 7-Minute Read Family, 7-Minute Read Followers. I just have some 7-Minute Read faithful folk to come in from all over the world to hear the Word of God. We do broadcast live Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 9 p.m. Central Standard Time, across nine social media platforms. You heard me, nine social media platforms. You can always find the uh, replays on that face place, and then if you look in a book, you can find them, uh, or on that you. And then, you know, um, um, there's a tube that you put you in and then a you in the tube. Oh, you can't say them words, y'all. <laughs> Just look for me under Pamela Dobson. Praise God. Thank you, Johnny13. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Praise God. All right. Well, I'm the ticking and talking, and I'm looking at the clock, and it's almost time to stop. So I must stop on the ticking and talk. <laughs> ah!